Lizzie and Joe to from my Hailstorm. Speaking of incredible yeah. couples in rock and roll. I know. Yes. Speaking of couples we love in rock and roll, what is going on? Lizzie, Joe. It is so good to see you How's again. It's I love you guys. Good to see guys. you too. Two of my go. favorite I'm glad, humans. I'm glad you both landed the chopper in yeah. time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the interview. Yeah. Yes. Like, hey, it's like breaker, breaker. No. Yeah. We awesome. feel very um, professional. Yes, they're so professional. Thanks for having us, guys. Well, we love you always. This and is how rude. Can we not have Hi. Nice to meet you, Harold. Good to meet you too. Get you guys met. <laughs> Fresh meat. She's I a see. Big finish. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. How are you guys doing? Great oh, to see you. Dude, great to see you too. This is um, the the last show of this leg before we go to Europe. So yeah. ah. we get one more big, you know, U.S. fest before we head over the pond. So You guys have been so yeah, busy. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, dude, there, yeah, was, awesome. there was like nothing for so long. So now all of a sudden it's like everybody's out. Everyone's doing stuff. Catch up, catch just, up. And it's it feels good too, right? Like, you oh, know, yeah. you're like out, out of studio and now you're on the road. Doing Absolutely. Which is, which is I mean, all that studio work. It's like, come on, let's get yeah, exactly. let's be done yeah. with this. I, we gotta I, get on the road. <laughs> it's like okay, I'm over. It. I'm over being inside. Let's go. <laughs> Tell us about Europe, like and who you're going out with and everything. Let's talk about those we're, shows. We're going out with uh with Alter Bridge and Wolfie Van Halen. Yeah. I what a that. great show. Wow. What a, wow. that's gonna what a be. lineup, Wolfie. dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's such a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah you got man, you got Wolfie, you got Miles, Mark, all those. Just, just gonna be all great. of the golden souls. Yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. Roll. Just, that's gonna God. be a nice tour. Like even like on off days or like just behind behind the stage. Like I can see that that would be a really nice. One for There'll be a lot guys. of guitar playing going oh, on. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know yeah, guitar right, nerds for yeah. sure. Yeah. You're going to be in heaven. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Teach be? me something. Show me something. Yeah, last yeah. time we toured with Alter Bridge, it was like 2013 or something. And I'd like wake up at noon, you know, and Mark would be in there like, like hustling on the guitar. And I was like, all right, what are you working on? And he'd show <laughs> me. So I started working yeah. on it. And I was like, I think I'm doing it right. No, you're not. You got to <laughs> do it this way. I was like, oh. Wait, sweet. speaking of guitars, I am like obsessed with your new guitar. Oh, like the purple <laughs> pink situation going okay. on. I'm like, so that that was I'm gonna want to touch. That was it very later. sneaky. I did not know that was being made. Um, so this was like months of secrecy, and then they got him involved, and it's like, do you think she'll like this? Like, absolutely. So finally, like, so it's it's all it's all custom. There's only one. Um, they customized the neck for me. I have custom, uh, you know, uh, bu uh, humbuckers in there and all that, and it's like, so. He was telling me, he's like, hey, so, uh, you know, what was it? It was like on a Friday or something. He's like, we got to go down to the Gibson Custom Shop because um, some of the people that have been working on your guitars for years, they're all there. They just want to, you know, have a meet and greet. Quick little meet pictures. Oh, this is yeah, so awesome. That's what so I'm, like, I'm like, sure, absolutely. We'll, we'll stop by. So we went by and then I walk in. It's like everybody that is like at, was there. And I'm like, wait. This isn't just like me taking some pictures and you know, <laughs> like, what's going on? Like, yeah. like, wow. like, he's like, oh, you don't know why you're here, do you? I'm like, I guess not. And they just unveiled this beautiful thing. I, I, I've affectionately named her Victoria because I think she's a stately old bitch. Oh, yeah. you know, I love her. Did she's you like, bring Victoria wait, with you? Oh, yes. Can I touch her? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like, I like, I saw it and yes. I was just like, oh, my Lord. I mean, it's like you're one of my favorite person, colors. You're the first person to ask to touch Victoria. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So Excited. Get a picture of it. Oh, I'm, I got I'm, you. Oh, we're going to be, like, it's going to be a thing. I'm going to be side stage right before they go on. Yeah. Like, you know what? And I still love <laughs> the story you. about, like, everything coming back. I know we've talked about it before, but we haven't talked about it right here on the show. And that's, I love the story about you gifting the young lady from the warning oh, of the tar and that. how that came full circle from when you were a kid. So can oh, we talk about absolutely. that? absolutely. So when, uh, w this was like, what, 06? Yeah, Something 2006. We, we were out. We were out touring with Shinedown, um, and uh, with with their their original lineup. And Jason Todd was a guitar player, and uh, they treated us like gold on that tour. They actually spoiled us because then we went on a couple of tours after that and had to like beg for like six bottles of water, like you know. So it's like they, <laughs> wow. when 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 you when you tour with with the Shinedown boys and and uh, you you get spoiled. And <laughs> but. Um, so we, you know, we didn't have any text at the time. So I had broken a string during our set, and Jason's just standing there with this beautiful white Gibson Firebird, and uh, and he just hands it to me, and he's like, "Here, just like switch out and do that." I'm like, "Okay, cool." In between songs, I'm thinking that I'm just borrowing his guitar. So I go after our set to go give him back this beautiful guitar, and he's like, "Oh no, that's yours. I bought that for you." Oh. And I'm like, "What?" You know, oh, wow. and so I asked him, I, I said, well, what what can I do for you? And he said, well, 
you know, when when you get to a certain point where people are being influenced by you and 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 you meet a young uh, guitarist that really inspires you again to play guitar, oh. um, pay it forward. So. I got this opportunity on, on our last tour because Danny from The Warning is an incredible guitar player to the point that like I'm literally watching her every night and you know I told him just like I need to go over my scales I need to get better <laughs> she's about 19 uh, you know, right yeah, she's like they're so they're yeah. so tiny and, and I'm like <laughs> so I tiny need to, and fierce I need, so tiny and fierce <laughs> uh, yes oh um, so tiny and vicious um, and so I'm I so I ended up you know t finding um, this this beautiful white Gibson Explorer um, thanks to the Gibson people for helping me scour the earth for it because I knew what I wanted to get her and I was originally going to give her you know, one of my signatures, but then I'm like, no, it has my signature on it. Like, I want something that, like, she can just call her own. So, anyway, I digress, but I, I ended up handing her this guitar in the middle of her set. Same thing that happened with me and Jason Todd. And same thing. She thought I, she was, I was just letting her borrow one of my guitars. So she literally asks me. It's the same conversation. Wow. All these years later, she's like, oh, my gosh, really? Like... This is mine? Oh my gosh. And she's crying in my shoulder and then her parents are crying and, and she's like, same thing, what can I do? I'm like, well, when when you get famous and have all these little girls that are looking up at you and you find a young, you know, girl that inspires you, pay it forward. And she's like, I will, I really will. And, and it's like I oh, it's, and it's so beautiful. And you know what's really amazing about it too is I love what you said, you're like, well, this one is my signature guitar. I'm going to go. You actually went out and looked for yes. the yeah, right guitar really cool. for which is one of the most beautiful things. I don't think I, I realized that. I thought mind. it was one of your guitars. So, I mean, now and I'm you know, like, that yeah. just yeah. makes it even more like you, that effort you put in so much yeah. art. That's such a yeah. fucking yeah, beautiful cool. thing. Well, uh, I, I want you to know. I, like, I know what know. it feels like, man. And I'm telling you, like, these acts of kindness like it, we we do these things because we're selfish about it because then we know i'm gonna have the best day because i just <laughs> made somebody's day you know it's so much more beautiful to be to be kind to one another yeah. than to yeah. be in competition oh, yeah. or do anything like everybody helps each other out which so. we were, we were actually talking about that lilith came by just before oh, okay. you guys and so yeah, we were yeah. talking about her going out with you guys so much and just um all the ladies you know, oh, yeah. um, taking care of each other. I know that that is a big thing for you. You guys have been taking a lot of these up and coming younger women fronted bands out, which at this point, it doesn't matter. You're just fronted by a band, but there still is that camaraderie. And like, oh, it yeah. hasn't always been that way where the girls were like taking each other under each other's arms and lifting them up. And you are literally doing that. We were just kind of talking about how important it is and how sweet it is and how awesome and it makes everyone fucking smile man oh, it's so cool absolutely and you know it, when there there is a difference like my like my boys are my allies they've seen me come up in this business and have to deal with a lot of crap because of of you know being a girl and all of that and so it's so beautiful to like have these women that are around you because we we're like old war buddies we have different stories from to, yes like that 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 we and different hurdles that we've had to get through to be where we're at so it's just so beautiful for for me to like have that kind of camaraderie again do it selfishly because i'm like i want to have some girls out on tour with me but then also with these young acts that are so wonderfully talented give them the opportunity to like get get like steal our fans get different people coming to your shows yeah. build give, that audience give everybody a platform we lift each other up you know it's like there's already enough that we got to go through well, in this world works. we don't have to be in competition with each other at all like we're just like arm in arm yep. here we go it, yeah, yeah 100% beautiful. and if people are there to see hailstorm they obviously they they're a fan of of what the women that are under you guys are doing anyway they're yep. going to be like oh this is awesome you know and it's just introducing yeah. them and I think that that is amazing that you've been doing that, man. Yeah. And, so and I will tell you a small um, backstage secret, uh, but the difference between girls and guys on tour. Oh. The girls are way nastier. <laughs> I thought yeah, it was going to be, yeah. gonna be like, the opposite. Like, like, oh no! Like, like, no, it's it's totally it's true. We we're we're we get we get rowdy. I love it. Okay, so I have to. If I love we it, also though. were talking about. Um, do you remember Lady Marmalade? Oh song? yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So we have decided. <laughs> Shannon's making uh, it happen. I am manifesting this, and I'm oh literally talking to each one of you about this. We need you, mm -hmm. Taylor, Lilith, 
Dorothy yep. and Maria. Oh, absolutely. To cover that. That would and be if awesome. you guys yeah. do that, I mean, you're going to have to talk to managers. You're going to do all the things. But I'm already doing the manifesting, and okay. I'm talking to each one of you girls. <laughs> right. See, but if that how, fucking that happened, and you guys do a rock version of this song, like, I don't I don't want any part of it. I don't need anything. All I want is for you guys to play it on the Guns Club first. Awesome. That's it. Awesome. You can be but in the music video. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. okay. So you know who, who who is going to absolutely agree with you with that, with, with that is, uh, is Corey Taylor. Because oh, Corey really? Taylor, the first time that we ever went on tour with Corey... Um, we hear him a mile away in the hall backstage, and he is singing at the top of his lungs every word to Lady Marmalade. <laughs> yeah. That was my introduction to Corey Taylor. So he, he's down. Maybe okay. Yeah, because he loves the LaBelle version and the we'll other one. put him in a wig out, you know? okay. and get him in the video, too. Yeah. You know, well, it, it's going to be the third so version, cool. and the third one is the charm. It's going to be even the best, which is so great. <laughs> you like, know? like, Corey, you can be in, in the video, but you have to wear a skirt. He yeah. likes it. <laughs> he would do it. Doesn't it great good. how he loves everything? I mean, his musical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but then we get the cherry bombs in the video too. Oh, see? Oh, we're gonna be I mean, Put yeah. it together. We're gonna be This shit is all yeah. happening. This is happening. Oh my okay. god. So uh, dude, I'm telling you, it's already I, in the, I, books. the manifestation, it's just it's coming, I know. it's coming, it's yep. going, and we it's already a, it's it out. thing. We just gotta we, pull we've laid it all down. Yeah. We're just gonna <laughs> This it, is happening. Put it I, I, I know it's gonna happen. I got a good now. feeling about this. Yeah. I like it. Me too. Oh, it's gonna be a so good. Uh, well, well I'm excited know. for you guys to finally get is this this gonna be your first time over to Europe since all this shit? Yeah. It is, right? Oh man, you're gonna make some fans some really happy. Yeah, we did the UK. We did the UK, uh, but then there was like, it was just impossible to route everything with everybody's different restrictions. Yeah. So now, yeah, we're starting Officially. in Hamburg, Germany. We're going to Prague. We're going to Italy. We're going to Paris. It's Croatia, Spain. We're in the EU and weeks. ready to go, right? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah so that's oh, yeah. great. Well, it's going to be awesome, guys. And it sounds like a, what a great tour. Hanging out with Wolfie. Dude, it's gonna be so good. All the, the boys new album Ultra is Bridge, doing man. great. It's so good. Oh, thank and you so, so much. That's, that's I, huge. It's still climbing, man. It's yeah. crazy. It's so, killing, right? You, can, you, can, you are back from the dead. You can't imagine like the nerves because like we're all like, I think this is good. I think this is good. I think this is good. And then like, you put it out. They're like, I hope it's good. You all right. Know? Yes. You know, you knew it this hurts. question was coming from me because I'm always curious about this thing. Guys, decided on a follow up to Wicked Ways yet? Or because uh, <laughs> right. you know we, we have. Yeah. Are you allowed to talk about it yet or no? No. Yeah, All you gotta right. be quiet. Secrets yeah. Secrets are yeah. shut are down. Yeah. Secrets <laughs> abound. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be well, one for all. Well, the I know books. on the yeah. Power yeah. Hour they will be looking forward to me because they know <laughs> well, that the song, whatever song it is, it's gonna climb the charts. It's gonna oh, do yeah. its oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's on our show. And, uh, well, that's thanks to yes. all of you guys, by the way. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for all the love and yes. Um, you know. We talk about this all the time. We, we, you and I used to talk about it when we were teenagers. Like, it takes a village, man. It takes yeah. people that believe in you. It's not just about us rocking out on stage and, like, writing the songs and everything. We, you can be the best band. You can write the best songs. That doesn't always guarantee the push. And so thank I, you so much. Yeah. Oh, you're Look welcome. We love metal. you. Oh, I know. This little metal head right here. I know. Oh, oh, you. Look at her. Oh. There she is. Oh, oh she's, she's so, so shy. shy. Yeah. So oh, you got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So great. I love it. Dude, Lizzie little so up great and coming, coming metalhead oh, yeah. right there. The tiniest that's, horns. Dude, that's, that's my stunt so double. Cool. It is. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, it's training, so we're, we're training her early. She's got the horns down. That. That's all I, the horns. You know? <laughs> That's horns. incredible. Well, Joe, by the way, I, I want to give you some props for the British Steel T-shirt. Oh, thanks, great man. Judas thanks. Priest. Man. Yes. It's too bad they couldn't be here this weekend. Yeah. I know. They're getting ready to head out, though. Yeah. No, Richie's tour. healing up. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm so glad. I love, but I that love guy, those man. guys. Man. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So happy. Did, he's did you, you should tell them about what you did for Rob. Oh, for yeah. Well, pandemic. so Rob and, Rob and I have become fast friends, and um, he, he he just uh, he just uh, messaged me the other day, like, in my in my DMs. He's like, he's like, Hello. It's only me. What's shaking? You know, yeah. it's like just little things like that. Like the the man wants for nothing. He just wants to say hi. Um, anyway, so we we opened up for Judas Priest in Auckland, New Zealand yeah. in 2019. Yeah, something like that. And um, and so I was after their show. I was talking with Rob. He had 11 leather jacket changes. Oh, and so in so, one show. So I was talking because being being a, a fan of the leather jacket myself, we we had a little bit of a fashion moment. And he's like, I'm just trying to outdo Cher, but I'll never outdo Cher. Oh and then we started gosh. talking about I was wearing these like super spiky, um, like eight inch heels, right? And he looks down at my heels and he's like, Oh, I wish that I had a pair like those. <laughs> and so so what did what did 
Miss Lizzie do, but I went home and I did some research you and I, some. I got my management in on it and everything. I'm like, can you sneakily find out Rob Halford's shoe size? <laughs> and I found those exact shoes in his men's size and sent it to him um, for Christmas. And, uh, and it was so cute because like he... He put together a whole outfit when he got it, and he posted it on his Instagram. Oh wow! That's so we're, phenomenal. We're, we're, shoe, oh we're shoe buddies, but, and I um, have a pair of your shoes. And you, so I know. Part of the shoe <laughs> part. It was very similar to, to that those shoe. shoes. So, w- so between you and and me and Rob Halford, we're we're high heel sisters. Yeah. So. There you go. It's but great. What, Love it. What what a sweet man. Uh, one of the sweetest dudes in rock and roll. They played Painkiller like it was the 1980s again. It was so <laughs> yeah. amazing. So it was. They're so great right they now. Are. It's unbelievable. So. I love that Metal band. Metal God. I got excited because when we were walking around, they have all the, um, on the fences, they've got yeah. a lot of performers yeah. uh, that they've printed on the on the sheets that go mm-hmm. around the fences. And I was walking by, I'm like, that's Rob Albert. I went over and I was like, he's a Metal God. Like, I was freaking out. I mean, it's just so cool. That's and all the so memories awesome. and all the all the legends that have played Aftershock, that has played Louder Than Life, the DWP festivals. Yep. I yep. saw Ozzy here uh, five years ago or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we saw Ozzy here. Ozzy we were here. on that day. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so cool. And I it, it, this is the 10th year of Aftershock. And we're oh. here. You know, I it's amazing. It. Wow. I have yeah. to tell you this. Yeah. Because I do, I don't ever have any problem showing my age that I'm like the elder <laughs> statesman. But you but have I all s- the stories. But I, I saw a priest when they only could, had as much space as the two couches, like on the front of the stage. Cool. Sin after sin wow. tour. Opening oh, for wow. stars and Ario Speedwagon. Wow. wow. I, and then a year later, they were second on the bill with their stained class album. Oh, yeah. my So, God. like, I followed them from like. Literally, Rob and those guys were like, oh, then God. they got into the cool. leather, like, by the next album. Yeah. Oh, no, but they didn't not. even have leather then. They were like, they were like, finding their way. That yeah, they were like, weren't they like happen. psychedelic? Kind yeah, of yeah. Awesome. So I was at those <laughs> shows. That's so and cool. they go to me, they're like, dude, you don't look, Matt, you don't look cool. And I'm See. like, yes, I was. But I was this, <laughs> I was like 11, but I was there. You know, awesome. Awesome. You know what's going to yeah. happen That's is magical. in like 20 years. And these guys are still doing this. I'm going to be like, you know, I saw him on the Jägermeister stage back in yep. 2009 at Rock on the Range, and the stage was this big, and now look at this. That's going to happen. Yeah. I think it was a truck bed, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was a yeah. truck bed. That stage was so was small. So t- like, Because wow. I remember, like, because RJ's bass drum, like, came out. I had, like, two feet of space. So I'm like, all I could do was, like, hold court and, like, crouch down. Then I get back up again, you know? Yeah, so, but like, you had it, the swagger the, so you could do it. It was a little it. tiny <laughs> Jägermeister stage, and it was all muddy out front of it. And that was the that was my 2009, my this first Tailstorm experience, about, man. man. This yeah. is what it's And now about. main stage today with Victoria. Yes. 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 <laughs> with with Vicky so on your good. shoulder. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Hailstorm tonight here at Aftershock. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let's hear it. Do we you love guys. Them. And you guys don't are going to have a great tour over in Europe. And don't forget that the first time that I saw Lizzie live, speaking of that, you go 15? Mm-hmm. 15 years old. And there is a picture that exists of me and Lizzie's mom watching her. Yeah, in the yeah. audience. Yeah. At that tiny club in, in Harrisburg. Wow. Harrisburg. Yeah. Yeah. And I love it because Lizzie sent me the picture and it's me and her mom. And we're just sitting there. It's oh, the greatest. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes. That's so cute. I love it so much. Oh, I love gee. that history we it's, have. It, you know what? It's like you just got to outlast them all, man. Yeah, we keep going. <laughs> yeah, keep on rocking. It. You know what I mean? We love you. We, we love, love you guys. guys so much. You guys Lizzie, travel safe Joe, over there. You rock. We love you. Thank you, guys. So all good right. to see you. Chat. Let's see Hailstorm oh, in the chat. Yeah, Hailstorm, everybody. Let's, let's go. It.